Welcome to The Bible Quiz. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the depths of Scripture, where each question presents a true or false mystery waiting to be unraveled. Prepare yourself for 25 intriguing puzzles inspired by timeless tales from the Bible. Are you ready to uncover the hidden truths within these ancient enigmas? But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By doing so, you'll stay updated on all our upcoming challenges and become part of a community dedicated to exploring the wonders of God's Word. Once you've unlocked the mysteries, share your insights in the comments section below. Let's embark on this exhilarating journey together and delve into the mysteries of the Bible. Let's get started. Question 1. The man was created on the sixth day. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. In the biblical account of creation in Genesis chapter 1, man was indeed created on the sixth day. This marks the culmination of God's creative work, as He formed man in His image and gave him dominion over all living creatures. It underscores the special place of humanity in God's design for the world. Question 2. Noah's Ark rested upon Mount Zion after the flood. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. According to the biblical account in Genesis chapter 8, Noah's Ark rested upon the mountains of Ararat after the flood, not Mount Zion. This marks the end of the flood and the beginning of the new era for humanity and all living creatures on earth. Question 3. Satan quoted scripture. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. In the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness, Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11, Satan indeed quoted scripture to try and deceive Jesus. However, he twisted the meaning of the verses to serve his purposes, highlighting the importance of interpreting scripture correctly and being aware of deceptive tactics. Question 4. Goliath was a Philistine. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Goliath, the giant warrior defeated by David, was indeed a Philistine. He is famously known for his confrontation with David in the Valley of Elah, as recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Goliath's formidable stature and military prowess made him a significant figure in the biblical narrative of the Israelites' battles against their enemies. Question 5. Solomon loved Delilah. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Solomon's romantic entanglements are well documented in the Bible, including his marriages to many wives and concubines. However, Delilah was not among them. Delilah is famously known for her involvement with Samson, not Solomon. Samson's story is found in the book of Judges chapters 13 to 16. 
dear one, make sure to click the subscribe button so you can stay in the loop and catch all our upcoming videos. Question 6. Noah sent out a raven from the ark. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. After the flood waters receded, Noah sent out a raven from the ark to assess if the waters had subsided enough for the land to be habitable again. This event is recorded in Genesis chapter 8 verses 6 to 7. Later, Noah also sent out a dove for the same purpose, which returned with an olive leaf, indicating that the waters had receded. Question 7. The dishonest butler was fired for being lazy. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The dishonest butler was not dismissed due to laziness, but rather for mismanagement and dishonesty, as depicted in Luke chapter 16, verses 1 to 13. This parable tells the story of a steward who squandered his master's possessions, leading to his termination. The narrative serves as a moral lesson about stewardship and faithfulness in handling resources. Question 8. Believers were first called Christians in Antioch. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Believers were first referred to as Christians in the city of Antioch, as mentioned in Acts chapter 11, verse 26. This designation signifies their association with Jesus Christ, indicating their commitment to his teachings and lordship. The term Christian reflects their identity as followers of Christ, distinguishing them from other religious or cultural groups. Question 9. Bethlehem was destroyed by fire and sulfur. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. There is no biblical record of Bethlehem being destroyed by fire and sulfur. Instead, Bethlehem holds significant religious importance as the birthplace of Jesus, as documented in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Its historical and spiritual significance lies in its association with the nativity story, rather than destruction. Question 10. Jacob and Esau were twins. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Jacob and Esau were indeed twins, born to Isaac and Rebekah, as recorded in Genesis chapter 25, verses 24 to 26. Their contrasting personalities and the struggle between them form a significant narrative in the book of Genesis. Question 11. The sons of Zebedee were Peter and Andrew. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The sons of Zebedee, namely James and John, 
While Peter and Andrew were siblings, sons of Jonas, John chapter 1, verses 40 to 42, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also brothers and disciples of Jesus, Matthew chapter 4, verses 21 to 22. Distinguishing between these pairs clarifies the identities of Jesus' disciples and their familial connections. Question 12. Six men walked with the resurrected Jesus on the road to Emmaus. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. In the biblical narrative of the road to Emmaus, Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35, only two disciples, Cleopas and an unnamed companion, walked with the resurrected Jesus, not six men as stated. This encounter is significant as it portrays Jesus revealing himself to his followers after his resurrection, demonstrating his continued presence and engagement with them even in their moments of doubt and confusion. Question 13. Hagar bore Abraham one child. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Hagar bore Abraham one child, Ishmael, as recorded in Genesis chapter 16, verse 15. Ishmael's birth came at the behest of Sarah, Abraham's wife, who was unable to conceive at the time. This event played a significant role in the familial dynamics of Abraham's household and the broader narrative of God's covenant with Abraham. Question 14. The Holy Spirit looked like a crow when the disciples received it. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The Holy Spirit did not appear as a crow when the disciples received it. Instead, according to the Gospel accounts, the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus in the form of a dove during his baptism, Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, symbolizing purity, peace, and the anointing of Jesus for his ministry. Question 15. Benjamin was the youngest son of Jacob. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. Benjamin was the youngest son of Jacob. Genesis chapter 35 verses 16 to 18. His birth occurred after the death of his mother Rachel, making him Jacob's youngest son and Joseph's brother. Benjamin's birth brought both joy and sorrow to Jacob's family, as it marked the loss of Rachel, but also the addition of another son. Question 16. Jesus turned water into wine at the wedding in Jericho. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Jesus performed the miracle of turning water into wine at the wedding in Cana, as recorded in John chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. This event marked the beginning of his public ministry and revealed his divine power and authority. Question 17. Jesus healed the man with the withered hand on the Sabbath. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The 
The answer is true. Jesus indeed healed a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath, as documented in Mark chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. This action sparked controversy among the religious leaders of the time, highlighting Jesus' teachings on compassion and the true meaning of observing the Sabbath. Question 18. Mary thought that Jesus was the gardener. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. After Jesus' resurrection, Mary Magdalene initially mistook Jesus for the gardener when she encountered him near the tomb, as described in John chapter 20, verses 11 to 18. However, this was a momentary confusion quickly dispelled when Jesus called her by name, revealing his identity. Question 19. The Apostle Andrew was a tax collector. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Andrew was not a tax collector. He was one of the 12 apostles chosen by Jesus. He was the brother of Simon Peter and initially a disciple of John the Baptist. Andrew is often remembered as the disciple who brought his brother Simon Peter to Jesus. Question 20. John offered to make tents, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. During the transfiguration, when Jesus was transfigured before Peter, James, and John on the mountain, there is no account of John offering to make tents for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Instead, Peter suggested to build shelters for them, as mentioned in Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 13. Question 21. The tenth plague unleashed on Egypt was the death of the firstborn. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. In the Exodus story, the tenth plague inflicted upon Egypt by God was indeed the death of the firstborn, as described in Exodus chapter 12, verses 29 to 30. This plague ultimately led Pharaoh to release the Israelites from slavery. Question 22. Jonah spent three days and nights in the lion's den. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. The story of Jonah involves him being swallowed by a great fish, not being placed in a lion's den. According to the book of Jonah in the Bible, Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the fish after being thrown overboard from a ship, as recounted in Jonah chapter 1, verse 17. Question 23. Jesus resurrected a widow's son in the town of Nain, True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is true. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus did indeed raise a widow's son from the dead in the town of Nain 
as recorded in Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. This miraculous event demonstrates Jesus' compassion and power over death. It serves as a poignant reminder of His divine power and the hope He offers to all who believe. Question 24. Moses' wife was Miriam. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Moses' wife was Zipporah, Exodus chapter 2, verse 21, while Miriam was his sister. Zipporah accompanied Moses on his journey. Her marriage was pivotal in his life and leadership. Meanwhile, Miriam played a significant role as a prophetess and leader among the Israelites. Question 25. The Lord sent Jonah to Canaan. True or false? You get 10 seconds. The answer is false. Jonah was commissioned by the Lord to journey to Nineveh, not Canaan, as detailed in Jonah chapter 1 verses 1 to 2. His task, depicted in the book of Jonah, involved delivering a call to repentance to the inhabitants of Nineveh, the prominent city of Assyria. Wow, what an exhilarating journey through the scriptures, navigating the landscape of true or false. Did you uncover the hidden truths within? Whether you've unlocked mysteries or gained new insights, remember, the Bible is an endless well of wisdom awaiting exploration. If you relish this adventure, share the excitement with loved ones. Let's invite them to join our thrilling biblical voyage. Hit subscribe for more captivating quizzes and enlightening insights. Your feedback is invaluable, so share your scores, questions, or suggestions below. Together, Let's continue unraveling the mysteries of God's Word. Thank you for embarking on this exhilarating quest. May your spiritual journey overflow with divine revelations.